you already recognize yourself. This is great. I'm just going to show you like six. The common tennis parent personalities and, and all the coaches are going to get a kick out of this stuff. Um, but your personality trait really does impact your kid. Your personality is really important. Remember we talked about brain typing. Here's one of the six. We see it every day. So we call the jabber jaw tennis parent. Okay. The, the jabber jaw signs the kid up for a, ten, a one hour lesson. He comes and he complains to the coach about how lousy his kid is in matches for 45 minutes straight. Now the kid gets hit for 10 minutes. We pick up balls, and on the way out, the parents say, you know, Joey, this coach isn't very good. We didn't get much out of this lesson today. <laughs> so, all right, kids, you don't have to raise your hand. I don't get in trouble, though. If that's your parents, remind them to provide insight via email the night before. As coaches, we would rather you send us an email, and we'll work on exactly what you want us to work on. And you don't have to bad mouth and put down your child in front of us. And you don't have to waste your valuable money and time. So, the jab or job. Okay, the judger. I had a judger on the court um, last week. So, I'm working on an emotional issue called negative score. Okay, so I'm trying to get this player to get a kick serve out wide to the outside, kick serve wide, followed by a ground stroke to the other corner. Now I want her to do it to 10. But every time she does a mistake, we deduct one point. Now this is for a kid that cannot close out a match. We have to get her used to closing out games and matches. She needs to be more emotionally tough. So she gets to eight, then she goes back down to six. Then she gets uh, seven, eight, nine, then she goes back down again. Because we do negative scoring, right? Negative scoring helps the emotional side. While we're doing that, the dad is yelling through the fence, her toss is low, she's not bending her knees, and all this stuff. But parents, it's really important that I want you to understand channel capacity. It's big. All that means with neuroscience is that the human brain cannot solve two complicated tasks at the same time. So she can't focus on getting to 10 with this emotional drill while she's focusing on ball tossing and bending her knees on the okay? So one thing at a time. This is why general capacity is why they don't want us texting and driving. If the human brain can't do two complicated things at once. So you gotta kind of pick one, okay? You guys okay so far? The X athlete. Um, I had a, I had a parent, um, a really good ex college, even even played pros. Still wants me to teach his son Cottonelle grip for him. And that's from the spectrum seventy and eighties. Um, so I think it's really important that we all talk about the evolution of the game. And, and there's a reason why, like Jimmy Connors, the eighties served at. 87 miles an hour. And then Boris Becker served at 110, Sampras 120s, Ronick 150s. But what that means is you guys that are 10 and under guys, when you when you guys are pros, you're going to be serving probably 165 in another 10 years. It's not going to stop. So evolution. The rocket scientist is a pretty common parent. This is a rocket. So, this is the kind of dad that talks about instant reflected angles, opposing force vectors, and I'm like, Robbie, she's only six. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful about it. Uh, the drill sergeant. Fear-based motivation doesn't work past age 15. So if you definitely want your kid to quit, be a drill sergeant. They'll be quitting soon, don't worry. And they'll probably run away and move out and, and get their eyebrows pierced. And the last one in this whole list is the night of trouble. This is the parent that calls the night before. I think it might be raining. And they might be playing Joey in the fourth round. He's a pusher. We hate pushers. And, but if he doesn't play Joey, he's going to play Mike. And Mike's a cheater. And you're like, how many things can you worry about? 
All right, so Cameron, be careful not to be any of those. At night, the coaches were all laughing at me.